Hey, everybody. It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I would like to bring us to the thrilling conclusion of the Dantian trilogy and with the uh, with the middle Dantian. So we'll uh, expl we'll uh, get into that. You know, just to recapitulate for those just tuning in, you know, we in the last two sec uh, sessions we we did the the lower Dantian, which is what most people think about whenever they think about you know the Dantian, and that's the area in the lower abdomen, and thinking about it as as both a physical substantial thing, that is the actual part of your body where where this all this is occurring and but also the insubstantial aspect which is the energy field that gets produced so when we think about a dantian the you know the, the language itself means a you know sea of energy the energy, the uh, elixir field the uh, so there's a, you know it's a field phenomenon and so we have it in the uh, lower abdomen you know uh, down in the pelvic region and you can visualize it as as a ball there if you like um uh but it's also it kind of fills up that that whole lower area and it, it the substantial aspect is all the organs and um uh occupants of of that lower region which interacting together produce a specific energy field so you know the occupants include your bionome or your biome, and we call it the bionome. Yes, the uh, the bi the human biome, which is this billions and billions of cells which are non-human, and uh, I think maybe even trillions of cells that are that are non-human that occupy your your gut, and so this gut is also your second brain, and it it is it um. Uh, as a, produces a lot of uh, neurotransmitters, and there's more serotonin that is produced in the uh, in the in that lower abdomen area uh, than in the brain. So it's you know, where your you get your your gut feeling from, and so that's your that that is the substantial aspect of this. But the insubstantial is the energy field itself that gets produced by all these things that are working together your intestines and and your all uh, your bladder and uh, all these these things that are interacting in that lower field then the the we went from there to the upper dantian which people usually associate with uh, with the third eye but it's actually the whole brain is your upper dantian and so the uh uh so that's the substantial aspect. This all the interactions that are occurring in this uh, the in in your nervous system that that is controlled by your central nervous system, your including your brain, and uh, at the center of it there is a location where uh, the at the location of the pineal and pituitary glands and the hypothalamus they get together. And they form this thing called the jade pill or the uh, mud pill palace, the Niwan Gong, and it is there. It, it resides in the in the uh, um, uh, spirit valley, and that's between the hemispheres of your brain. So we covered that last week, and we're not going to get too deep into that again this week. We'll um, like to move forward and in, into the third Dantian which is the middle Dantian. And that is right here at the, uh, at the center of the, of the chest, at the, at the heart region. And uh, you can think of the location of just like this, it would be the, the entry point for the upper Dantian and, and uh, a point just below your navel would be the entry point for the, for the lower Dantian. This is right here at the, uh, uh, I think it's conception vessel 17 is the usual way they think about it. that's like the entry point there and it's the a point right on your sternum that between the nipples and uh, so there's a uh, that is the location of you know where you're centering this this field that gets produced in your chest 
uh, primarily by the heart, but also lungs and uh, stomach, spleen, pancreas, um, liver, uh, thymus. So all these things are are working together in this this center uh, area in your chest area, and there's a dynamic field that gets gets produced there, and it's it's constantly fluctuating. There's you know millions of processes that are occurring every second in this in this area, and they are adjusting to the ever-changing landscape of your internal and external environments. And so you're going to get a, uh, uh, you're gonna get a different flavor of energy from this field, depending on what you're actually doing in the moment. So the guy that's, uh, that is organizing this whole thing, that is your heart. And that is, your heart is the biggest reciprocal uh, organ in the body. It, uh, it's a reciprocal um, energy system. Reciprocal system. That's what I'm thinking. So it that is it's it's pumping. So there's it's is we're getting a yin yang kind of action that is occurring in the uh, in the heart, and this create, generates a heart field which is bigger than any other organ in the body. It's a measurable field, and it's bigger than the uh, the, than the brain. So the condition of your heart and the heart field, the energy field of your heart has a direct influence on your whole body mind and your, as well as your, your mood, your emotions, all these things. And so there is uh, your ability to regulate your heart is a very important tool to have in your toolbox and uh, something that I put a, quite a bit of effort into decades ago when I was playing with uh, the heart math technology. I, uh, I mentioned that in the point uh, is in uh, Taiji Chuan through the Western Gate that uh, the premise there is that if you can control your heart rate variability, and create a more of a coherent waveform, good things happen. That is, you're starting, you're getting your your body mind so that your the fluctuations are not as random and jagged as as uh, as are often the case in in, uh, in in a lot of people. And you're kind of creating more of a a coherent sine wave kind of a kind of a thing where it's a nice smooth kind of interaction. And that comes from creating a, uh, a heart rate fluctuation that is, is moving more of a regular pattern. The way most people will, uh, you know, you'll, if you plug in, you look at your, your uh, electrocardiogram or something like that, you'll see like, you know, the, you're, you're going, the, movements are kind of jagged and uh, and but whenever you're moving into this kind of a um, regulating your heart rate you can actually kind of smooth that out and what it creates is a, a very nice meditative state a, a clarity of mind because it, then the the brain starts to resonate with that as well and you're starting to get your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems into uh into a nice uh, harmony. And so it doesn't mean you stay there, but your ability to go there into that state, that kind of nice refined state is, allows you to move into a state of, of calm, clear awareness that uh, then pervades your whole system. And then it also amplifies your energy field, your heart field, then actually is, uh, expanding beyond your physical limitations. And there's a lot of experiments that were done about this, where actually the interactions of coherent heart field with other people and watching how the, how the, uh, the electric fields, the measurable fields in the different people, even at a distance, were able to move into a, 
uh, resonance together with these things. So as whenever you have someone who has a very kind, loving, compassionate heart, and they are living that so that they're physically embodying the, these ideals, then it actually creates an amplified field, which it can be felt by other people and even measured on electrical de uh, devices. So, uh, so that's a, a very kind of real thing for me about something which can be thought in kind of abstract terms, you know, your, your uh, middle Dantian kind of it, there's a kind of an abstract quality to that, but it's actually very, very substantial, very real. And it's something that once you get your heart resonating in this very uh, warm, kind, compassionate way, then everything kind of starts moving together and you create a higher state of harmony throughout the whole system. So in this, uh, um, this middle Dantian, uh, in, the, in, in the Chinese model, it's considered to be fire chi. And the heart is actually associated with the uh, emotion of joy. And so this fiery stuff means that stuff is happening. And interesting, if we breathe into our chest, that uh, amplifies the sympathetic nervous system. That's the, that's the fiery part. That's the go, go, go part that makes things happen in the world. And the lower Dantian is associated with water. And so, when, and, uh, so whenever we're moving in that direction, we move toward the parasympathetic nervous system. That is, things start to slow down and, and you go into the rest and digest mode of the nervous system. So getting these two into a nice resonance then means that you're moving at uh, more toward an optimal functioning in your body mind. And then if we move that and we connect up the upper Dantian as well, and we're then the pineal and pituitary gland are controlling your, your endocrine system, and that's connecting up with your hypothalamus, which, um, uh, so there's this interface. So it's actually, there's this, this interface between the two. So, so your nervous system and your endocrine system are, are linking up and they're creating this, um, uh, a nice harmony there. So the essence of what I'm talking about here is getting all three Dantians so that they are functioning harmoniously together and, uh, and being able to then use your intent and your breath and to be able to regulate your chi in such a way as to produce a more beneficial effect in uh, throughout the whole body. You create a this state of heightened state of coherence. And by practicing it, you get it so that it's something you become familiar with so that you don't really have to think about it all that much during the course of your day because it's your body mind says, oh yeah, we like that place. Let's go back to that, let's go to that place of a heightened resonance there where we're actually feeling good about ourselves in the world. And, and there's that, that expansiveness, that heart expansion, that generosity of spirit then becomes, we embody that in the whole system. So, um, first let's just, uh, let's just, just focus on the middle Dantian and then we're going to get in and we're going to start to uh, play with getting the, uh, the, the, the others. So if we just breathe thoracically, that is instead of breathing abdominally, diaphragmatically, like we've been practicing and most of us kind of do quite naturally now, we're going to consciously just breathe thoracically. That is, just breathe with the expansion and contraction of the lungs. And what this will do will be to, it will kind of heighten the fire chi and create more of a sympathetic nervous system kind of state. 
and then we're going to kind of move that around and start to do other things with it. So, uh, so just if you can just put your your fingertips right there and in, in your the center chest, just right here at your your nipple level, get to um, conception vessel seventeen. Just touch that, and it helps if you you know, use your index finger. Just feel that, so you're actually getting that state of you know, that coherence, that energetic coherence that comes with pointing and reaching with the index finger. And so just very gently breathe to a count of three into your chest, hold for a count of three, exhale for a count of three, hold for a count of three. I'm gonna let you do it on your own. Place the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth and breathe just through the nose, close your mouth. You really want to feel, feel your finger, feel your chest, feel your breath in your chest. Good, now breathe naturally. I just notice how that feels in your body to, to breathe like that. And to put your point of focus there in your chest. Now one of the ways that you know it's been explained to me is that the lower Dantian converts your essence or Jing into Qi. And then the middle Dantian takes the chi and converts that into Shen or spirit. And the spirit rises to the upper Dantian. And then there that is converted into, into the Wu Ji or the, the emptiness or nothingness, the un, undifferentiated nothingness. So that's the, that's the, the basic model. But, uh, we're going to be playing with primarily the water and the fire chi. Good. So um, let's uh, stand up, and uh, we'll do a little little work with it with this. Okay, so let's begin by establishing our three pillars. So bend your knees just a little bit to unlock them. Bring your weight over the balls of your feet. So we're kind of generating this more of a, a, a yang chi there. And just feel your, feel your center of gravity over the balls of your feet, but the weight is spread throughout the whole foot. Reach with the crown of your head, tuck in your chin and open the jade pillow gate. Breathe through the nose, keep the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. And so opening the jade pillow gate means you're, you're opening that space at the base of the skull and lengthening your spine, particularly in the neck area. So you're reaching up with that crown of your head and feeling yourself getting a little bit taller with each breath. 
reach a little bit with your elbows. So you're opening your shoulder joints and allowing the shoulders, the unkinking the hose in the shoulder. And point and reach with your index fingers. You can wiggle them a little bit just to get that energetic coherence going. And relax your hip joints so you're, you're able to get sung kwa. You're able to sink down into your legs even as you reach up with the crown of your head. So begin by breathing diaphragmatically. So you're feeling your, your diaphragm pressing down on your lower dantian. You can just below here, below your navel, that area, and bring it to the center of your body. So not just side to side, but front to back. So that's your, the center of your, uh, you know, of your, basically your, your center of gravity. You can place your tip, your hand on your, on your, your belly if you like, and you want to really feel your breath in your, in your lower dantian. You can feel it kind of pressing against your hand. So we're activating that, the lower dantian, the water chi. It's also the considered to be the home of your primordial chi, that is the chi that you have inherited from your, uh, from your parents. That's expressed through your DNA. It's considered to be stored in your kidneys so that, so it's not just in the front here, but you're also feeling it in back. The whole lower dantian is resonating and you can bring the focus into a smaller and smaller ball in there. And I want you to bring your awareness also to the, your upper dantian right here between your eyebrows, your third eye area. And that's kind of like the entry point into the center of your brain. So you want to feel that, you want to feel your breath as it, moves into the, moves through your sinuses. And you can feel the energy as it moves into the upper dantian. Moves into the spirit valley between the hemispheres of your brain. Continue to feel your lower dantian while simultaneously feeling your breath. This is kind of requires you move into a super conscious state to be able to, to execute multiple things at once. But luckily we, as soon as we start to feel, consciously feel, particularly feeling those index fingers, we are start to move into that super conscious state, allowing us to be able to become aware of several things simultaneously. So you're feeling your upper dantian, actually feeling into your brain, even as you're feeling your lower dantian, feeling your belly, connecting those two poles. Now bring your awareness to your middle dantian. So the idea is to breathe into your lower dantian, really feel that, bring it into the middle dantian, and then as you fill up your belly with, uh, with that, that, your abdominal area with uh, uh, your pelvic area actually with, with breath, then you're continue to breathing so that you're also expanding your chest as well. So you're getting this energy center, this energy center, and this energy center, all working simultaneously. You breathe into the, 
the belly, you feel it in the in the sinus area, and then you you expand the chest and feel your middle dantian opening as well. I like to breathe in one, two, three, and then exhale middle first, the upper Dantian second, and the lower Dantian third. Notice the effect that this is having on your, your body mind as you're doing this. Not just your physical body, but also your energy field. It's like working a bellows. We're actually working this bellows to amplify the field, the whole energy field of the entire body. Good. Now we're going to we're going to do a little something with the with the water and the fire chi. This is something we've done before in this in this class, but it's been been a while. The idea is we're the in the Taoist model. Most of us have the fire chi is up here, the water chi is down here, and that creates a um, uh, a disturbance. It upsets the your your equanimity, but if we can turn that around so that we can bring the fire down under the lower dantian, then this acts as a cauldron and it heats up the water. The water rises, condenses, and then goes back down again. So and we'll do that using our hands to help guide the energy to actually feel that. So all the while you want to continue to feel your upper Dantian. So as you inhale, you're filling up your lower Dantian, and then continue to expand so that you're feeling your chest, and then reach out and exhale, and bring the fire chi Imagine a fire chi coming down under the lower dantian and inhale, expand the chest and exhale. Bring the fire chi down and boil the water. To continue to feel your upper dantian as you do this. As you're coming up, go into the balls of your feet. Reach out and go to the heels and exhale. Sink. And inhale your balls of your feet. Fire chi. Expansive, young, and heels. Water chi, young, yin, yin. Heels, yin. And then put your left hand under your navel, your right hand on top. Relax and sink. 
Allow that energy to nourish your lower Dantian. Allow that continue to cycle through as you do that. Good. Now let's do another one. This one a little more complicated, but not too much. So this one, we're going to raise the right hand and do the same thing, but we're gathering the right. Reach out, exhale, and then raise the left. And you're gathering as the right hand comes down, the left hand comes up and reach out. Right hand comes up, left hand comes down. We're still doing that same thing. We're just not deliberately thinking about the water and the fire because we've already established a pattern. We've, always, we've primed the pump with this. And bring your left hand, right hand over it. And let go of all that, all the thinking, the deliberate actions, but allow it to happen. This is where we've moved into a super conscious state and we're allowing that to take over, allowing the, the wisdom of the body mind, the wisdom of the chi to take over and do its work. Feel your whole body breathing. So we're amplifying our blood oxygen and nourishing each cell with this. Good. Okay, and relax. Now we're going to incorporate this into a, a Taiji Tran move. So trusting the wisdom of the body mind to do that work for us. Now that we've established the, the groove there, let's do a, uh, a, a, uh, Wave hands like clouds. Very simple. Now you sink in. So sink into your left foot and turn to your left. You reach up with your right hand. Now sink into your right and turn to the right. Your right hand comes across and your left hand crosses your lower dantian at the same time. 
and reach both hands and sink into your left. And feel your breath as you do this. Good. Now sink into your right leg and step out with your left foot and turn. And step in with your right foot. Sink into your right foot and turn to the right. Sink into your right and step out with your left. Feel your breath, step in with the right foot and turn. Feel your breath extending to your fingertips, step with the left foot. Step in with the right. Step with the left foot. Step in with the right. Now step to the right with your right foot. Step in with the left. Step in with the right foot. With the left, step the right foot, step in with the left, sink into your heels. And tune into the feelings in your body. Tune into your field. Feel the expansiveness of that energy. Feel the quiet resonance within your body. The balance of yin and yang, substantial and insubstantial, your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, your fire chi and your water chi. Feel that dynamic balance. Notice that they're constantly shifting. There's movement in your stillness. But it's a, a harmonic resonance. Step in with your left foot. Take a deep breath. Put the balls of your feet, gather. Feel the yang, expansiveness, and now sink into your heels and throw all the chi away. Dissolve into the emptiness. How was that? Good. Good. Any 
thoughts, questions, comments? Anything you'd like to share with the uh, people at home? Leticia. Hey, well, this, I think for me, it made it feel like, like the coherence of the energy movement, like very steady. Like sometimes I feel it and then comes and goes, but this time it was like, like if there was like a big bubble creating like a force, like a magnetic force coming and going like this in a way. Mm. And in every exercise was like more like getting just not, not, I don't know if it's stronger is the word, but just like more steady and more like balance in their own movement in a way. So it feel pretty good that like energy, mind, body, I don't know what feel, but all the feels together was like a good thing to feel. It was feeling too hot also. I had to get out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the heat was too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it, it's the 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 fire chi is an acquired taste. So. And I felt it like in the in the legs, like super like a base legs, like they were like shaking, not shaking from tiredness, you're shaking from something weird that I never felt before. Hmm. Interesting. Good. Yeah. Okay. That, uh, whenever the uh, whenever the chi cranks up like that, then then your body says, wait a minute, what am I going to do with all this? So, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it was, I, I loved it. As, as, it'll get used to it. It'll say, oh, okay, we can, that's, that's not a danger. I'll, we can, we can adapt to that. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it felt Great. good. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Cool. Thank ben. you. Ben. I was really, um, my upper dantian was so active throughout this like it was just it, it wasn't like alone but it, it was really supported <clears throat> by the other dantians right so that uh -huh. it was just there and powerful the whole time and then i also noticed that i really felt my lower dantian back in the kidneys as well mm -hmm. as as you know <laughs> the more general breathing area it's a little distracting occasionally <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but it felt really really good. great wonderful yeah with the kidneys if you if you breathe and you breathe and you actually want to feel the the expansion kind of yeah. pushing against your back because then that opens up the, yeah, totally. the, the main men the, uh, the the gate of life yeah, I can feel this sort of in that same pulsing way that Leticia was talking about, but more lower down, you know, in the in the in the back there. It's cool. Yeah. As we do that, as we focus on that, it kind of it stretches the uh the mesentery, the uh which is the uh um uh the stuff that that glues your organs <clears throat> in place. It's a and it's it's what? Mesentery glues your organs in place. It, yeah, it, it kind of secures it secures your intestines, you know, to the to the wall, the abdominal wall, and right. it's it's the uh, it's the uh, the location. I guess it's not the location, but it's the uh, primary um, <clears throat> agent for your enteric nervous system, which is. The third part of your autonomic nervous system, your your sympathetic, parasympathetic, and your enteric nervous system, which is, uh, in, and that's your 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 gut mind. That's your your uh, uh, that there's a whole system of uh, of neurons there, uh, a vast system of neurons there in your gut, which is uh, that whenever we start to breathe and and expand into that. <laughs> It stimulates these guys, and they and and so you start to wake up your uh, this whole other other mode of being. <clears throat> so that's that's cool. Cool. Anybody else? Jonathan. I, I will say I always find it helpful to find locations for the breath. Uh, 
you know, when, when we meditate, you know, the Buddha's instruction is to breathe through the whole body, but it helps actually to, that's a very general sense of the breath, you know, pushing through. But when you actually have stations to arrive at, that's actually very helpful. And then the, the sense of, I mean, the breath is strange. It, it comes on you, but then you can work with it. And that, that interaction between what you're given and what you can do with it is it's, it's very um, playful here. It's very, um, the potential there for who's, is it, is it coming in? Am I making it coming in? Am I, am I working it? Is it working me? And nothing to be resolved. Like who's, who's, who's in charge here. Right. But that just working with it is, is it's, it's, uh, it's a, it's a real powerful, powerful way to relate to the breath. I think, uh, I hope we can do more of this. Cool. Uh, the state, the, it, it's the stations of Don Tien. I, it'd be worth, I think in the, in, you know, in the next few weeks, even just spending a few minutes of just, let's work with our breath with these stations. I think, I think that'd be very, very helpful. Cool. I'll, uh, I'll consider that and, and going forward. Um, you know, one thing that, you know, Ken Cohen said was that, uh, that every cell in the body is, is a Dantian. Mm. So every wow. cell in the body is a, an energy center. Wow. But there are some energy centers which are they get together and they form like a big collective and they get they pulse together as a as a group and so that's where this this Taoist idea of of three dantians comes in you know it's like okay so yeah there everything is an energy center but you know mm, mm. there's there's certain ones that that seem to you know make a bigger deal out of it and uh and getting them so that, you know, throughout your day, if you can just be aware of breathing into all three Dantians or any one of them, you know, so just every time we can do that, you know, I, I joke and say a hundred times a day, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing to breathe right. in and just, you know, feel your chest, feel your, feel your sinuses, right. feel your lower Dantian, you know, right. feel all those things. And actually, it is the conscious feeling that makes the uh, makes the uh, makes it happen. Makes makes the the uh, the magic happen. Not to mention the humming again in the humming. I yes, when we get that, we we. But even just breathing into that sinuses amplifies your nitric oxide, which then creates its own effects to the whole system, and creates its own special energy. So uh mm. it's uh we're just getting started with this stuff <laughs> so it's uh, there's you know what else is possible and uh cool anybody else any other comments okay good um great thank you all so much it's been great thank you producer thank you, thank you. Thank you. love you maria oh uh uh let's take off next week since it's election night and uh, and i'm Oh yeah, it'll be unpredictable enough in the world. So let's. Uh, uh... <laughs> we might we might need, need this. Need yeah. you? Yeah, we may need you more than ever. Actually, uh, do you, I, I don't know. I, I'm up for it if you guys want to. That's, uh, I'm. Uh, if if you if people show up, I'll be uh, I'll be happy to do it. I just want to uh, give we're you. Kidding. Let's meet at eight in the morning the next day to, as the results come in. Or no, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> You're probably right. Let's just just stay off. It's, it's our yeah, minds. That's probably fair. Know. We can all do our own. For yeah. one thing, the, 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 our own wincing. Off. Yes, let's wince in private. Yes. <laughs> the airwaves right. maybe. You know. Yeah. Yeah. The internet was going down. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, Thank so you. two weeks then. Great. Two okay. Weeks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.